Now all we need is a technology that uh, helps us to shovel our own sidewalks. Yes. You know, hospital emergency rooms around the state are packed. Some are seeing an increase as large as 60 percent. ABC4's Emily Clark tells us this heavy snowfall is literally breaking our backs. 11,000 injuries a year blamed on this. Right now, all of us are digging ourselves out of a blast of snow along the Wasatch Front. We haven't had this much snow for years. But all that digging can leave you with a pain in the neck. I'm retired and I don't get as much exercise as I used to, so yes, it hurts my back. You gotta use your legs. <laughs> Is that the technique? That's the technique. The Orthopedic Specialty Hospital, or TOSH, has seen an increase in people dealing with injuries from working in the snow. And sometimes you'll feel a pop, and sometimes you'll have pain going down your leg. That's a little bit more uh, concerning. Doctors at Tosh say if not done correctly, shoveling snow can be very harmful. Well, the average snow shovel is about 16 pounds of snow. In one minute, that equals 200 pounds. Over a 10-minute period of time, that can be up to 2,000 pounds of snow. So you need to think before you work. You're going to injure yourself less if you push the snow as opposed to lifting and throwing it. If you do have to lift the snow, use a smaller shovel. When you're working, stand up enough so you are not leaning forward and twisting your back and shovel diagonally. That way you won't trip on the cracks in the sidewalk. Be sh keep on it. Piece of cake. The main goal, take it slow, thoughtfully, and enjoy the best snow on earth. So now that we know how to properly shovel, there's a challenge here at Tosh. They want you to come sign a pledge saying that you'll properly shovel. They'll give you a shovel, but in return, they want to know that you're going to help out your neighbors. So people who should not be out shoveling really don't have to. In Murray, Emily Clark, ABC4 News.